Hey everybody, thank you so, so much for tuning in. As promised, I'm back with another DIY. Thank you so, so much to everybody who left lovely, lovely comments on my last video. I really appreciate it. I still have to catch up with all the comments, but I've been reading some of your stories and you guys are amazing. As a big thank you, I wanted to go ahead and start giving shout outs throughout my videos. So please be on the lookout for that. It's getting really hard to keep up with all the comments, so randomly throughout the video, I'll have little pictures pop up, and these are people that I see comment on all of my videos. I just wanna thank you and let you know that I see you, I appreciate you, and you are so important to me. Anyway, today's DIY is inspired by a post from Rustoleum. I saw this on their Instagram post and I even went on Google and tried to search to see if this is something that was sold. It wasn't and some of the similar things that I saw on Etsy were super duper expensive. So I had to DIY it myself. This can be used as a schedule board or if you're having a wedding, it's a really cool way to display your table numbers and guests. Anyway, I really hope you like it. Let's go ahead and get started. For this project, I used three and a half of the Dollar Tree Jenga, and I just took them out of the pack, and I'm gonna use Gorilla Wood Glue to attach them. Usually I use E6000, but because they're not stained, it would just be absorbed by the wood and it'd be really hard to stick. So I'm gonna use a flat surface like this leveler. You can use a book or a box. And I'm gonna start attaching a row of four. And this is to make a frame for my chalk pieces. Now, once I have a row of four, I'm gonna start assembling a second row right on top. And the reason I'm doing it right on top is because I wanna make sure that they fit nice and snug against each other and that they're not lopsided at all. So this is the best way I thought of doing it. So I'm gonna make 16 in total. And these are gonna be the sides of the frame. Now for the tops and bottoms, I'm gonna create a row of three. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing, building on top of each other until I have 16 of these pieces. And you should have 32 pieces in total. So to assemble, please pay attention to how I'm doing this. I'm going to attach the bottom to the side of the four piece. And then when I take the second four piece column, I'm gonna put that on top of that piece. So it's gonna look a little lopsided, but that's okay. When you add this piece, everything is gonna square off perfectly. So once you add that, you'll move your frame around and get it perfectly square. And what I did was add something to the side so that it wouldn't move around. And I started assembling my frame right next to it. I didn't glue them together in case I decided to move them around, but I did start assembling the exact same way. This one is on the opposite side, but it's the exact same dimensions. You can always check if you're doing it correctly by adding your chalkboard right on top, making sure that it fits. If it does, then you're good to go and you can keep assembling more frames. So once all your frames are assembled, let them dry overnight and then you can go ahead and attach them to each other. So I just added wood glue to the edges and pressed them up against each other. You can do this as you're assembling your pieces. I wanted to do it afterwards because I really didn't know how I wanted to stack these or if I needed to move anything around. So now I grabbed these Dollar Tree clips and I just made sure that everything was nice and tight while it dried. I let it dry 24 hours and now I flipped it on its backside. As you can see, I can pick this up with no issues. And here you'll see the Jenga pieces with the writing on them. That's why I faced them towards the backside. Now when you see the Dollar Tree chalkboards, you'll notice that they are different brands. They're the same brands, but honestly they're different sizes, so keep this in mind if you're doing this project with regular picture frames. 
Now you're gonna add E6000 to the very, very edge of the chalkboard. You wanna make this super, super close to the edge so that it doesn't slide onto the chalkboard itself and become visible. So once you've done that, you're gonna place it carefully onto your frame, making sure that you're not sliding it around. And you're gonna do this to all of your frames. You'll see here how before I let it fall, I make sure that it's nice and even, and then I just press down lightly. So after I was done with that, I did take my E6000 and start adding it to the crevices. This was just to give it a little extra reinforcement. You can also add some popsicle sticks, anything that will keep this from breaking or bending, even though the Gorilla Wood Glue is super duper strong. If you wanted to hang these using nails, I used this old Dollar Tree frame and I removed these metal pieces. You can also use these little pieces from the Dollar Tree wood signs and I just used this box cutter to remove it. You can skip this step if you're going to hang it using command hooks or just regular mounting tape. To position them, I used this line as a guide and I grabbed my leveler, placed it where I wanted to. And then I E6000 this in place. You want to make sure that that groove part is facing the chalkboard. So I just added my E6000 to the bottom and I placed it directly where my leveler is. And you'll see right now where the nail is going to go. So it's very important that you place this correctly. I placed one on the other side of the ruler and then I let this dry overnight. And as you can see, I'm shaking it around and moving it and everything is nice and in place. So now to add the letters, I use these Dollar Tree stickers. They do come in different colors. I added them to the top left corner, starting from Monday all the way down to Sunday, but you can start from Sunday to Monday. It's totally up to you. So now I wanted to add hooks for my keys and I found the coolest hooks at Dollar Tree. They're really not hooks, they are push pins and they come in different colors which was really really nice and it was actually really sturdy. So I added a bit of E6000 to the bottom portion and I placed it on the middle Jenga piece of the frame and once I couldn't push anymore. I did take a hammer and I had lightly hammered it in. So I let it dry, of course. You have a totally awesome, totally functional chalkboard command center, which can be used for whatever else you'd like. If you like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and thank you so, so much for watching. Till next time.